How's it going everybody? Damien back at another video blue collar here and uh, we're gonna be talking about this tractor some more today. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of info on it. Some stuff I found out thought was pretty neat and uh, just all around good to know when you have a tractor like this. Uh, now I did look into this stuff before I just forgot it and I figured you guys want to know but I also want to show you guys some of the stuff underneath the hood here and I don't know too much about all the pedals and levers right there but we're gonna look into some of the stuff and the things that I do know I'll let you guys know you feel free to tell me if I'm wrong or tell me a little bit more about it if you know thank you guys and uh, let me get this camera turned around all right here we are we got a 1984 Belarus 400a now everything I'm gonna be telling you isn't gonna have anything to do with this front end loader here or this uh, this brush hog either so all this stuff is just gonna be about the tractor and some of the stuff it has to offer. So first and foremost is a 4.1 liter four cylinder engine that puts out 57 horsepower. I can't attest for what it puts out now. This is when it was new. This is what it says. All right, it's air cooled. That's what this little fan here is on the side. Okay. It's air cooled, it's not water cooled. Okay, don't freak out. It's a pretty different tractor. All right. The rear end is two wheel drive. This is not a four wheel drive tractor. Okay. The uh, transmission has 11 forward gears, which is what that is right there. 11 forward gears and eight reverse. The PTO is independent. It has a uh, RPM of 540. And that's rotations per minute. And the tested speed is, I'm sorry, the tested horsepower, apologies, is 50.7. So it's not far off what that engine's putting out. Now, the hydraulics is a 4.1 gallon hydraulic tank. And it is located right here. Now it says use motor oil only on the side right there. But when they had this loader put on here and all these hoses hooked up, it's actually hydraulic fluid. So that's what we're going to be putting in it. Now, on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this before I say anything else about this. This uh, intake right here is a, has an oil catch pan in it. At the very bottom right there, there's oil, and then you have a filter. So if anything comes in the top right here, it'll get sucked down and get picked up by that oil in the filter before it goes in the intake. Now, where were we? The fuel tank all the way here in the back. It's a 19.5 gallon fuel tank. It fills from the rear on the uh, right side here, which is the driver's side. That's why I used it. That's why I like to look at it on pretty much anything just so it doesn't confuse anybody. It's a 19.5 gallon tank, diesel fuel. And uh, what I thought was really crazy about this tractor, uh, it it's the weight. This thing weighs 6,600 pounds. And uh, when you convert that to kilograms, it's 2,993 kilograms. It's pretty hefty. And that's before you put the loader and the, you know, the brush hog and whatever else you want on here. Now, I'm not sure if that's adding the wheel weights here, but I think it is. Uh, I haven't uh, weighed it myself. Now, that's pretty much as much as I'm going to go over with the, you know, engine, everything like that. I'm going to show you guys how this thing shifts right here. It's, it's very awkward. You see that right here? So you have, uh, I'm trying to put this paper down here. You have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. It's very weird how it does this. So one, in, two, three, directly across, middle, all the way down, four, back to the middle, all the way back, left five and then six very weird but you know it's whatever and then you have rever reverses uh in between three and four and obviously you're going to have forward and backward there so you have uh middle or right would be backwards i guess and this forward is all your your uh gears here so we're going to test that out later on when we actually start driving it We'll figure all that stuff out, but that's what it's saying for the, the gears here. And then obviously this is how you would shift, and then here's where you would uh, move the other one. Now, I'm not really sure what all these levers do here, 
Um, there's three. They're all hooked up to hydraulic stuff down there. I don't think they're actually hooked up to anything. I'm, I'm thinking it's for like a, these here, maybe like a loader that wasn't put on with its own external levers, or maybe even to like run a, a baler back here or something. So I'm thinking that's what that's for. Um, I think that this lever, it's actually stuck. It doesn't move, but I think this, you know, brings the steering wheel up and down for you, which we'll figure that out soon. You have, uh, this here is like a neutral for the PTO. Um, you can even have it for, on like a clutch or like its own little spin, whatever. Um, this would be the clutch for the PTO, if I'm not mistaken. This is the clutch for the tractor itself, and those are the two brakes. Um, what am I missing here? We have the fill oil port for um, the rear end. Um, you have more PTO stuff back here. I think this is actually the uh, parking brake, and this is to raise and lower the PTO. Um, not sure. If anybody knows, feel free to comment uh, what this pedal is. And like I said, if I'm wrong on any of this, please let me know because I don't like being wrong. But I definitely don't like telling people false stuff. So let me know and uh, I'll fix that. Um, we obviously have two stage uh, fuel filters and stuff. It's kind of hard to see. You have your uh, fuel pump and some other stuff up in there. Um, actually, your oil dipstick is right here as well on the uh, what I would consider the passenger side. So um, you're sitting up there. It would be on your left. And that's about it. What I thought was really interesting when I first bought this was just air-cooled. I've never seen a tractor that was air-cooled, so that was pretty neat. Uh, there's a fan in there. It's run off the belt. You can see it coming down off the fan to the alternator right here. And uh, that's how it runs. So it, it keeps air going over the whole uh, cylinder wall and everything. Um, you have your gearbox here for the steering, which mine actually needs to be tightened up. But it, I think it's hydraulic as well. You can see all these lines coming off to it. So that's probably hydraulic as well. You have the lights up here, which mine are cut. You can tell because, you know. And then. This doesn't have anything to do with the tractor. That's just a shut off valve for the hydraulics. This is actually something I thought was kind of neat too. It has a battery shut off switch, which I didn't know was going to be on this, but it actually kills the power to the battery, so it saves the life of them. Doesn't drain them if there's a uh, voltage drop or anything crazy like that. It won't just eat it up. So here's the, on this side. You actually have more of those hydraulic hose like hookups right here. That's another thing that these can be used for. So uh, I'm going to show you what these say. I don't know if you guys can read that. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not up there. So we have a few switches here, which I'm assuming is mostly uh, light stuff. Um, you have a switch here and a switch right there. And you have your main power key that actually doesn't come out. It's just on. And this tractor actually will not, it doesn't have a shutoff switch. So I have to put it in gear and uh, kill it in gear. Now, I think that's about it. We'll be going over quite a few other things with it. Um, I'm hoping that after I'm going to fill these hydraulic, the hydraulic cylinders and everything up, I'm going to be running this thing. So we'll see. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys everything so far and uh, give you a good... You know, these tractors are pretty foreign to me. I've never seen one. This is the first time I've ever owned or had or seen one so I figured to go through it and all the stuff like I couldn't tell you what some of this stuff means you probably battery voltage uh, oil or coolant on one of these and then you have like a speed or RPM or something not really sure but we'll figure that out so I think I think that's gonna be it for this one I just want to make it real short and sweet I wanted to put this one out beforehand but I got really anxious and decided to just do the cylinders and stuff so I'm going to put this one out, and uh, by Friday, I'm going to be putting out another video on this tractor as well. I'm going to be getting into uh, putting more hydraulic fluid in it that I bought, which like I said, I bought five gallons, cost me 70 something dollars, but I'm going to be putting it in there, checking for leaks, getting this hydraulics working again, so then we can drive this tractor and, uh, and use the loader. So that's all I wanted for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching. 
uh, real quick. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Like, subscribe, comment. It all helps the algorithm. I really appreciate you uh, you guys coming in here and watching them, especially the people that keep coming back. Uh, if you guys are new, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope it, uh, it helped you in some way. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys can help me get to my goal. Uh, I haven't really said anything about it. I'm trying to get up to a thousand, but I wanted to set some smaller goals. So I'm pushing towards 500 right now. I'm at uh, 362 as of last night. So help me get to 500. As soon as I hit around a thousand, I want to put out a video of just my background. I feel like people, if I put one out too early, then no one's going to see it, you know. But I want to put out a, a background of me, you know, tell you what I've done, where I came from, stuff like that. Just let you guys know a little more, but I want to be you know invested in you guys a little bit before i just tell you who i am you know what i mean anyways thank you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one